Hello and welcome to Kia e Nero Diaries on uh, January the 10th of 2022. Uh, it's another pretty grey, miserable day here in France, although it's supposed to brighten up tomorrow. It's going to get colder and sunnier for the rest of the week. And I'm quite pleased about that because we are planning a very long road trip all the way into Frankfurt in Germany. So still working out exactly how we're going to do that. Anyway, I'd like to thank uh, all the people who've been watching and subscribing since I posted the summary of the 2021 uh, ownership experience. Um, Say so I'm not going to be posting uh, so many videos as some people on here. I mean, there's loads of YouTubers now who um, do a very professional job of, um, uh, of, of their thoughts and um, experiences of owning an EV. There's even a guy in Australia, he produces about three videos a day he's called the electric viking and uh, loads of information on his site it's very entertaining as well um you won't see anything like as professional as that from me uh, rest assured um but in a previous life um i worked as an industry analyst so i'm really into stats and numbers and i do like to talk about the industry in general not simply the um, the ownership experience. So um, I've got quite a few videos on the old e Nero Diaries YouTube site where I'm doing some forecasting and various other sort of thoughts that I've got on the uh, industry. So I'm happy to post some of those again along with some of the videos of our very early days with the Kia e Nero. Um, we were going on... Um, uh, some long trips in uh, back in uh, 2019. Um, anyway, uh, on the subject of um, the car industry or the electric vehicle industry in general, um, just looking at France as an example, um, the first electric cars to be sold in France were sold in 2010. I can't think what they were. Maybe they were early Nissan Leafs or those little Citroen or Peugeot iMEVs that well, well they're actually just um, badge versions of the Mitsubishi iMEV I think so um, interesting little chart here where you can see that um, going back to 2010 um, there were sort of 980 electric cars sold and then in 2012 was the launch of the first generation Zoe and you see those numbers you know picking up again uh, I think the 2012, it got to about 10,000 vehicles. And then you see the steady climb, 2013, 14, 2015, you know, all the way up to 2019 where 69,000 electric vehicles were sold. And of course, that's uh, including battery electrics plug -in and, and plug-in hybrids as well. And then all of a sudden in 2020, something strange happened it was like a 280 percent increase in um, electric vehicle sales in france um, from 69,000 up to 190 495,000 and i guess that's to do with um, the regulations penalizing companies who have too high a co2 output from their total sales um, and uh, obviously they started then to push more models into the market and then the figures for last year and are, are now in and again another massive increase we've gone from 194,000 to 315 316,000 sales um, so that's pretty spectacular and I remember reading in about March 2020 that France had got to the point where about 1% of all the cars on the road were had a plug uh, rather than um, you know needing fossil fuels but of course that includes um, plug-in hybrids I'm not sure we should really count those it, it's up to you how you think about these things but um, basically it took the best part of nine ten years to get to one percent uh, and it took about another 15, 18 months to get to 2% because 2021 ended with um, 786,274 electric cars and vans on the roads in France. So that's comfortably over 2% considering there are 
um, 32 million registered cars on the road in France, about the same number as in the UK. Now, of those 786, let's just call it three, three quarters of a million um, <clears throat> electric cars, just over half a million were pure battery electrics. And that's really the number that I tend to go on. So we're not quite at 2% yet of all cars on the road in France being battery electric, but that number will be hit within the first three or four months of this year, which is incredible. Um, and uh, yeah, there are about a quarter of a million plug-in hybrids. So it's roughly two-thirds two battery electric, one-third um, uh, plug-in hybrids. And of those battery electric vehicles, 50,000 are light commercial vehicles. So, you know, th and those Vehicles do a lot of work, so there's quite a lot of displacement of petrol and diesel there, which is, of course, what we want to see. So, um, forecast for next year, then? Well, uh, we won't see another growth. I mean, you say the sales in France grew 162% uh, between 2020 and 2021. Not as spectacular as between 2019 and 2020, which was 280%. But I would say that an, a 75% increase this year will almost certainly see half a million sales. So that's quite amazing. And of course, we will cross then uh, sometime in around, <clears throat> I would think sometime around April, May, we'll get to the point of a million electric vehicles on the road in France. And, and France is about the same sort of market size as the UK. And uh, sales have been, I, I think, sales uh, of new cars <clears throat> in the last few months of the year were at about 23, 24% electric. So to go and say a third of all new car sales in France this year will be electric, I think that's fairly reasonable. Um, the French car market normally is about the same size as the UK. They sell between about 1.9 and 2.1 million cars in a good year. But of course, the whole market's been contracting, partly because of COVID. In 2020, showrooms were closed because of the lockdowns. Um, and everyone thought that 2021 would come booming back. But of course, it hasn't. Um, <clears throat> despite the fact the showrooms were open again, people are, are holding off on buying uh, petrol and diesel cars. In fact, diesel sales have collapsed completely here um, last couple of months. Uh, just pure battery electric cars have outsold um, diesels uh, in France and even in, in Germany uh, uh, as well, which is amazing. I think electric car sales in Germany were about 32-33% in December 2021. Anyway, so we've got a smaller market um, <clears throat> as um, uh, internal combustion engine car sales fall. So in terms of a percentage, um, I still think you know, electric cars, even if the market recovers this year to be its normal sort of 1.9 million, uh, I still think a third of those are going to be EVs. And, you know, the, the, the direction of travel is inevitable. Anyway, if you're like me and you love the subject of electric cars, then you will bore the hell out of a lot of people uh, <laughs> that you meet talking about your Kia Nero or whatever it is you've got, your Tesla, your Kona, and and it's just, I, I think it's a revelationary thing to have an electric car. You know, you not only are you sort of refueling it at home, um, but it's just uh, so much nicer to drive. And obviously these panels, when I get them, that, that's another little bit of electricity I'll be putting into the batteries um, and effectively uh, driving on sunlight, which is, I think, a kind of cool thing to do. Um, but, uh, of course, uh, when you talk about your electric car so much as uh, we, t well, as I do, I can't, I can't blame Mrs. E. Nero for, for any of that. Um, it's quite lovely when somebody just turns up at your house, uh, as some friends of ours did recently, not saying anything. They just turned up and they've got a Kia E. Nero. Uh, so they bought it in around sort of November time got a very good deal and it just goes to show that uh, you know early adopters like me probably paid over the odds and didn't get so many features as uh, as the new cars that are coming out now but hey that's a decision we took we wanted to go for it i think there were only about uh, 4 or 5 million electric cars on the world's roads uh, in 2019 there's going to be 
15 to 20 million this year. So, you know, I, I'm just happy to have been driving an electric car for so long. But uh, here you can see our friend when she turns up and I try to interview her about this car she's bought and uh, she didn't really want to be on the camera. But I guess it's a way to shut people up. Uh, talking about electric cars, just go and buy one. So, so Tracy, welcome to Kia e Nero Diaries. <laughs> what is this? What is this? You've gone and got a car that's a bit like ours. Yeah. Why did you do that then? Why did you, why did, why did you want to get any Nero? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos, hopefully, when we make our way across to Germany. It's going to be about a 2,000 kilometre round trip. So thanks again for watching and uh, see you on the next one.